All right, guys, something we've been talking about for a long time has finally come to fruition. Uh, one thing that we all love and like to be a part of is nice trucks. We all want that in our driveway. We all want to have that to take to the field with us. We finally made it happen. It is a Buck Commander version. Okay, and we've teamed up with Truck Hero to bring you all the accessories. We've teamed up with Rock to do it for us. Lee, tell us what we're going to call it. This is going to be called the Buck Truck. Seems appropriate. Start from, the, start from the most basic need, which is a good vehicle. Doesn't matter if you've got all the best gear if you can't get there. If you can't get there. So get there with a buck truck. First thoughts when you know we were approached about um, being involved with the buck truck is Truck Hero is a perfect fit. We absolutely have everything you need to outfit your truck um, for the hunter, for the fisherman, you know, any lifestyle basically you want, um, you know, we've got the accessory for it. So we knew for the buck truck packages, we had to have some, you know, exciting people to test out all the products. Um, and so we chose Jace Robertson, Luke Bryan, and Tombo Martin. <laughs> Look, as a hunter and an outdoorsman, we've come a long way from the Model T. But now, with all the challenges that the winner presents, you need as many bells and whistles as possible on your truck. You know, Jace Robertson is the duck commander. Um, you know, he does everything um, that you can in Sportsman's Paradise in Louisiana. So I think it's a perfect fit for showcasing what the buck truck accessories are and what Truck Hero has to offer. They were in a bit of a quandary. They were like, Willie or Jace? And I'm like, do you want an outdoorsman or do you want somebody who can sit on a couch and eat popcorn? So I thought I was the obvious choice and I was. Boys, that was a whacking. <laughs> Lee here with Rockin' Design. Today is day one of the build of the Buck Truck. We'd like to start off by thanking Truck Hero for being the sponsorship of this and letting us make this happen with Buck Commander. This here is Jace Robertson's truck and we're getting ready to do the Buck Truck package on it, which is a four and a half inch super lift kit, 35s, 20 inch wheels, and a few other options that you'll see that we'll add throughout the week. So what we're doing on the front of this F-150 we're going to disassemble all the front suspension, uh, steering knuckles, lower control arm, the struts, uh, sway bar, removing all this so we can install the lift kit. And by doing that, what it's allowing all the stock suspension and, and steering is to stay at the factory geometry. CV axles, tie rod ends, and everything like that. That way it, it, it keeps the somewhat of a stock ride. It doesn't make it too rigid. Ready? All right, hold, hang on, hang on. All right, go ahead. All right, hold on, hold what you got. That'll work. Boom, thank you. All right, just finished up tightening up the last couple of bolts on the front, got underneath, plugged the electronic steering back in. Now we're gonna move this party to the rear. Not nearly as many components required for the rear as the front did. We're gonna be replacing the 
rear blocks with a larger block allowing for the accommodable lift. We're going to be putting bump stop extensions in, new Fox shocks for the rear, along with new U-bolts and hardware required to bolt it all together. And that covers the back end of this truck. Lifted blocks, shocks, drop brackets for the bump stops and the brake lines. And it looks like we're good to go. It's always important to make sure that you use the right tire and right wheel with the lift that you're going with. So for this particular truck being a four and a half inch lift, we're gonna go with a Fuel Maverick 20 by nine with a plus 20 offset. And we're also running a Toyo Open Country 35, 12, 50, 20. This way we have no rubbing, we have no issues when Jace is taking this truck going to the duck hole, the duck blind, or going to look for that buck in this buck truck. Got the wheels and tires mounted up, balanced, getting ready to bolt them on. Once we do that, we'll get it on the ground and move it over to the alignment rack. Day three, we're getting ready to jump on uh, the buck truck for Jace Robertson. Uh, Jace, can you kind of tell me where we ended yesterday and what we got planned for today? Uh, yesterday, we got the lift kit, wheels, tires, and got it over on the alignment rack, got that finished up. This morning, we're going to uh, get started on the front and rear bumpers, all the lighting, get it wired up, and uh, that should pretty much cover today. All right, we're at the point we're getting ready to install the Fab Fours Matrix Series bumper. We just removed the factory bumper and got everything mocked up where everything's out of the way. So we're getting ready to start installing the rigid Radiance cube lights in the corners. We'll have two per corner. We're gonna have the Radiance 30 inch in the center as well, along with a rugged ridge 10,000 pound synthetic line winch. So once we get everything together, we'll go ahead and install it on the front of the truck, get everything positioned correctly and tighten it down and wire everything up. Get ready to watch this truck go from no bumper to a bad bumper. Now we're moving on to the rear. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna remove the factory one, remove all the wiring, sensors, seven-way plug, everything and swap it over to the new bumper and reinstall it in place to match the front one. It's got to come over, down, it's got to come down.
I gotta tell you, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, well, I hope you like it. If you don't, I'll, I'll keep the keys and uh, we'll get you another one to try again. This is the reverse of my wedding night. We're putting things on this instead of taking it off. And these guys specialize in bells and whistles. Yep. And I like the bells and whistles of life, especially on trucks. Right. Well, like I say, I'm really confident you're gonna not only like it, but love it. But if you don't, I'm buying it from you. So it's a win-win. I'll make Either you a way. good deal. Let me see if I can get him to pull around. All right. But everything they were asking me on what I like and what I don't like, the fact that they were asking me, I thought, so it's possible. Oh, wow. So when it comes around the corner, I think, whoa, that thing looks good. My initial view is, yes. I like the deer on the side. Uh, that's a nice touch. That's a you know, fits your personality. Buck commander, yeah. Deer hunter that you are. Just because I chase after ducks. How you doing? Good I'm morning. Jace. Nice to meet you, Jace. Lisa, is this, is this some of your work? This is uh, some of Boy, our work. Boy, y'all, uh, man. Transformation complete. Oh, wow. I like this. My wife's going to love this because she's like, I can't get in the truck without this at this stage of our, our, our life. Oh, man. Good grief. Leather's better. I like the floor mats. Wow. What's this blue button? It's for your lights on the front bumper. Oh, OK. We got two more here. I didn't know if it was one of those Mad Max <laughs> things where you push the button and well, then you just be. It you might know. be. These two, you got wow. your fog lights, and then you got your center 30-inch light bar there. Oh, yeah. I like it. No, y'all y'all did spectacular. This is kind of like crawling up into my mother's arms, you know? We're, we're having a, I'm having a moment here. They took like a spider, and when they lifted it, they made it a mad spider. Awesome, let me check out the bed. So it's called a heavy duty bed mat. That way you don't have to worry about stuff sliding around and beating everywhere. On this tripod cover here, you can release it from either side. Pull that latch down. Back. You know, I think a bed cover is essential. I mean, if you're going to live in Louisiana, you don't worry about whether it's going to rain or not. You're worried about when it's going to stop raining. Okay. And what I like about this one is that it's easy. You pull a little wire, whoop. You pull a little wire, whoop. You close it, wham, wham, bam, shut. Give me some water back here and create a pool. Wouldn't be weird, I know, but. I wouldn't like to do that. Man, y'all outdid yourselves. I, I'm blown away. This is spectacular. How does this work? I mean, that's a good idea. Whoever got a patent on that. Because do you know how many times I've hit my shin? Yeah, you got. Oh, I see. Isn't that something? Give that man a raise. He's on an island somewhere, whoever came over that thing. <laughs> but I'll have to say, they put the greatest bumpers on a vehicle that I've ever seen. I mean, if you hit a deer with this thing, yeah. just don't stop. even don't even touch the brake, just keep going. <laughs> when you stop, finally just do like this and wipe the hair off. Yeah. Look, for three days, I'll just be, I'll go out and just open the door and watch it. Yep, then close it. So those are the AMP Research Power Steps. One of your favorites, you think? Love it. <laughs> and they put bed cover, mud grips, a winch, bumpers, seat covers, floor mats, running board. So we're really excited about the buck truck um, to have the longevity and the legs to be seen all over, you know, in dealerships. Um, but what's exciting is that we're going to see it on episodes first and we're going to see what true off-road and, you know, outdoor enthusiasts do with these trucks. Um, they're going to prove these accessories are exactly what you need, um, you know, to, to make the truck the ultimate buck truck. Wow. All in all, I could not be happier with the truck. I can't thank Truck Hero enough they outperform my expectations.